paper, but I promise it's actually really light. I'm gonna go ahead and cut our string and then we're gonna thread it through the eye of the needle and use my bead spinner. This was a little trickier just because I didn't have a ton of beads in there. We filled it up and we're gonna measure it. But this was kind of a fun process. I've actually really liked using the generator so far. I'm gonna put pearls and then our shell charm. After putting those on, it's time to tie it and then we just tie it a bunch of times. And then we're gonna stretch it out to make sure it's good. And then cut it. It reminds me of the little mermaid. But yeah, I'm excited to do more of these. This listing is now live on my Etsy if you guys wanna join. Organizing my beads. So it's restock day because some of our pinks are slacking. Some of them are completely gone, some of them are kinda low, and then some of them we still have a decent amount of. Hot pink. That's Sophia's color. My fave. It's the best. It's the best out of <laughs> She cuts it and then I pull it and then she also films. This one kind of went everywhere. <laughs> okay, this next color might drive some of you guys crazy, but I think it's so cute. Alright, not hot pink. Baby beads. Baby beads. Little baby. They're so cute. Tiny. I think they still needed to be in here. They're so cute. They're so little. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here's our lighter pink. I didn't want to mix the lighter pink in with the other lighter pink because they're slightly different. Here's my neon pink. I love it so much. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mine. Better. No, mine's best. And then now we're sucking the white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all done. Today, we we're packing an order for my cousin, but this is actually a surprise. My uncle messaged me saying he wants to get something for his daughter, aka my cousin. It is actually perfect timing because we just opened our new launch and so he picked some things out that he thinks she would like and I totally agree with his choices. So we gathered everything up, we got all our packing supplies, we're gonna package these two together. We actually just got new packaging which is so exciting, it's so fun. We're gonna put these two together and since it's a set, we're gonna staple it. I accidentally did the staple too high, but it's okay because we're gonna cover it with a sticker. Right, I think you know, and I love this, but it's so sparkly. Then we're gonna get our freebies together, little thank you cards, some stickers, a high chew, and I actually have to show you what I made. I made this little cute coupon, but on the back, what you guys see, is a little thing you could hang up for your wall collage, and I'm gonna change it out every month. You guys can get like a little nice collection, and I'm gonna be putting them out too. Anyway, so we put everything in the bag. I'm gonna take off that sticker, seal it up, put more stickers on. But I'm excited for my cousin. Also, glad she doesn't have TikTok, so she can't see this. Let's package an order today. First, this is my bucket of strings. I actually always have to touch it when I see it. But it's right next to the string, and the string is actually what we have to use for this order. We're grabbing all our bags that we need. So satisfied. The order we have today is for a returning customer, and she is so sweet and so nice. She leaves the nicest reviews. I seriously love her. Anyway, she ordered five bags of bee confetti, and I found this extra ring in there. I'm gonna wear it, but maybe I should just start hiding random stuff in my bee confetti. 
for sticking in more charms because we can but we're just gonna be scooping up those bags there's a reason why i'm not showing me filling up all five bags and it's because i was struggling so hard bees were flying everywhere anyway she asked for extra strength so that's what we're gonna give her we're gonna give her a lot of strength I'm gonna take this and wrap it around and around and around. This is a called a jewelry holder for those who ask, and I know you guys will. You guys can get these off of Amazon for super cheap. But yeah, they're just made of cardboard. They're good, they're nice. I put a sticker over it to hide the staple. Moving on to the surprise bracelet she picked out. And these bracelets I actually have discounted. So all my other bracelets are five dollars. These ones are four dollars because I get to pick them out. But it's fun. It's kind of like a surprise blind bag a little bit. But look at this sticker and this sticker. I think they're both cute and kind of funny. That little sun's a little creepy, but like good creepy. Anyways, we're gonna start sticking everything in. And I tried shoving everything in, but it does not fit. So we have to use a bigger bag. Go ahead and package everything up. You stick that little Soko sticker on. And then after we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and play with the other stuff. How to tie a bracelet together. So first, I just basically do granny knot and make an X and then loop it under and then pull. The second knot's actually just slightly different. I still make that X and then put it through the loop. But instead of pulling it, I actually put it through the loop again. And I believe this is called a surgeon's knot. And then I just pull it. We're going to make that same knot again. So I make an X, put it through the loop. And then I put it through the loop again, and then I pull. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to make another granny knot, which is just a normal basic knot where you make an X, you put it through the loop, and then you pull it. But it seriously depends on what string you use. We use a white elastic string. It's so nice. You could seriously get it from anywhere. And then we just cut it, and then it's good. <laughs> That's cute. I wish I could get it, but... 